the stage is the I believe the seventh it is the yeah the seventh studio album by the heavy metal band uh, Event Sevenfold requested by Zach Sharman who is a big fan of the band so there we go um, yeah, you know, me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I still like some of their records and some of their songs, I would say, so I'm kind of mixed about them, but I still like them overall. And, yeah, there is kind of a deluxe problem I have with this album, but that is not going to affect the initial rating of this record, but I'm still going to criticize it because it's kind of, eh, for me, it's kind of dumb. Kind of nitpicking, but I'm talking about the original Almir, which I was pleased with the most, but I'm still gonna give my critiques about it. Uh, yeah, so we have 11 songs. Um, we have a runtime of 73 minutes and 42 seconds. If you ask me, that's a little bit too long, except maybe if you're a prog metal band, which they kind of were here, but not really in my opinion. Uh, but I'm gonna expl explain it in a bit. Um, we have the stage which is 8 minutes and 32 seconds, I believe, one of their long, longest songs. And I, al and I always had kind of a problem with Event Sevenfold kind of um, being long, like, you know, prog metal, while, while they're just kind of a typical, kind of a country metal band, really, if, if that really is what you, if you, if that really is what, what you want to label them, but... They are kind of country metal in a way, really. Fucking hell. Uh, it, it sounds really strange, but they kind of are. Um, which I I am not particularly a fan of, but I still think that Event Sevenfold has their right songs, just not really with country. It's not that they're primarily country, but they have some country-esque things to them, but there we go. Uh, the stage is kind of a prog suite. I do really like that the song is kind of, you know, it starts off really m mystique and really ominous and then later goes into this kind of crazy mentality that, you know, it goes faster and faster again. I do really like that, but I do think that the song kind of drags on for like two, three minutes too long. I, I, I think that if you have kept it at just five minutes it would have been fine but i know that event for is kind of you know they want to be proc i think they want to be pro because um you know i believe that uh cdov was fucking long and i believe nightmare was kind of long ish or or, or i believe uh the self-titled one there are some really fucking long songs from those albums and i'm like really do those songs really need to be like eight minutes long and it's kind of the same thing that I have with the stage, although I think that the song is way better produced. It has way more tempo changed, way more... I'm not sure about time signatures, but who, who the fuck cares? Um, but I still like the song probably the best out of their, you know, their really long songs. It's probably one of their best. Uh, so there we go, it's a good opener. Uh, it could have been a bit shorter, but it was still a pretty good song nonetheless. Then we have Paradigm, this is a really, you know, this is kind of like the stage volume 2 because it's kind of the same, it kind of does sound the same, but it is twice as short. So this is kind of my critiques to that with the stage, better. So this is uh, Event Sample already improving because I do really like this kind of energetic, trashy element that they have on the song. They better themselves on Paradigm or however you want to say that. I believe uh, Korn had a Paradigm song as well. Paradigm, I don't know how you say that. Who, who the fuck cares? Um, yeah, so this song is kind of, you know, the stage volume 2. It is better, it's shorter, it's more to the point. It's more, it's trashier, it's just, it's just a better song, really. Uh, the stage is real, still really good, but I think that it is just kind of too long, in my opinion. But uh, par Paradigm just um, gets rid of those problems immediately. A genius. And then we have Sunny Disposition, and this is kind of the summer anthem for the uh, for the band. Although the song is kind of six minutes and forty one seconds, so it is kind of you know they want to have a uh, summer ish tone to them, but they also have the song. Uh, it was pretty solid. I, you know, I thought it was a great follow to the first two songs. It is kind of in the middle, as in it's six minutes long. Other songs four, other ones eight, so it's kind of in the middle. 
Um, I do think that the song kind of you know betters the two as well. It has great elements to elements to it. It has, it has great uh, instrumentation. Just overall a kick-ass tune and just overall a pretty good follow-up to the first two songs. Then we have God Damn, which was a 3 minute and 41, uh, 41 second clip. Uh, pretty much to the point, pretty trashy, pretty fast as well. They kind of have they, uh, those progressive elements as well on there. While still being, you know, kick-ass, uh, short to the point, kind of, you know, trashy, uh, you know, metal elements on there. And I do really love it about Goldam. Uh, you know, Goldam is just basically the song that uh, kind of pays roots to the trash, you know, I would say. It's just really fast, really, you know, thriving as well. Really driving, just really amazing elements to it. Goddamn, probably my favorite so far. Really great song. There we go. Then we have Creating God, which is the. Well, it's not entirely anymore. It's not entirely exactly, but Creating God is kind of this. Uh, this song that has kind of a God complex to it. It sounds really. Uh, really experimental, really like. Highly praised, like. We're creating God, or we are the creators of God, or something. And does kind of sound half ass and kind of unneeded, uh, which I kind of uh, felt about the song. It's still good, it's still good in place, but I think that eventually gets kind of too complicated on this track if you really want to call if you really want to go there. It's still a good song overall, but it's kind of, you know, unneeded, overtly complex, so there we go. And then we have Angels, and this was simply a beautiful track. This was just uh, a really solid track, really great instrumentation, great melodies on this track, just a lot of uh, good singing by M Shadows. I was never really a big fan of M Shadows singing, but I would still say that it is one of his better songs, I would say, of all time. Uh, so there we go, really great centerpiece of the record, or really solid, but however you want to go there. But it, it was a solid song, so there we go. Uh, then we have Simulation, which is the seventh track, and overall this is one of the one of those songs that is um, uh, just kind of there. It is solid. It is what it is. Don't really have anything against it. It was just a solid song on the record, so you know it was kind of filler for me, but it was still good, I would say. But not really anything that stood out for it. Then we have Higher, which is kind of the six-minute uh, song that is just. Um, it was good, I would say. It is a good song overall, but I do think that the record is kind of missing a hit, so to say. And I think that the stage, Paradigm, Goddamn, I think those earlier songs kind of were, uh, what, what is the thing here? They were eligible to be a hit, but didn't really become a hit. Uh, only the stage, I believe, did an initial impact and then nothing really touched it again. Um, and I think that Higher could have been one of those hit singles. It is a really great song, I would say. Or, well, great. It is a good song overall. Um, yeah, and Higher, you know, I'm not sure what the meaning of it is, but uh, the song is overall pretty kick ass. It uh, has a great runtime. Kind of proggy as well. It kind of shows off the progressive elements that the bands have. And is an overall pretty interesting song to listen to. Uh, then we have Roman Sky, which is probably one of my favorites at this point, because it has this really kind of melodic, kind of melancholic intro that I really love about the band, and um, I do really think that they uh, per, you know, perfect. How do you fucking say that? They, they, they perfect, they perfect. Yeah, there we go. They perfect the kind of you know mel melodic interplay that they have on their tracks, and I think that Roman Sky, you know, only the name as well just sounds awesome in my opinion. Uh, so this song overall is just plain awesome, I just really love it and it's probably one of my personal favorites so far. It's 5 minutes long, it's really solid, it's really consistent, isn't too long, isn't too short, so perfect track really. Um, and then we have Fermi Paradox, which is just kind of the song that uh, kind of is, you know, um, yeah, it's pretty unique I would say, you know, a paradox, a Fermi Paradox, what even means that, there we go. So this song overall was pretty interesting, it was pretty ominous as well, it had some really dark elements, some really scary elements as well. So uh, really check it out because it's an awesome song and it basically is the, the build up for the epic track which is Exit, Exist, there we go. Basically talking about the origins and basically talking about, you know, 
existing as a human being and just going through a lot of uh, sweet elements and through a lot of epic elements. It is just a really epic track and I really recommend you to check it out. Although I think that it could have been maybe like five minutes shorter or maybe even shorter but there we go it is still a pretty kick-ass track or maybe drop some songs off like uh simulation higher you know i think those songs are still pretty good it's creating what was kind of preaching for maybe remove those two tra three tracks and you could have had a more consistent record but i still think it was a really great album i still really enjoyed it and I think it's one of Avenged Sevenfold's best albums, really. Uh, because I think that I gave... A spoiler alert, by the way, if you haven't watched my other A7X reviews. Um, I believe I, I've given... What's the fucking name? You know, their most overrated records. What's their fucking name? The... Fucking hell, the 2005 release. What's, what's it called again? Uh, City of Evil. Um, I think at City of Evil I gave like a 7.5 I think. I gave, I believe self-titled an 8.5 I believe, I think, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna give this record an 8.4, it was a really good record and I would definitely recommend you for checking it out because it was pretty solid. Uh, so let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below, it's definitely, well it could have been, it, it could have been an album of the year. Not per se for me, but maybe in general for metal or something, or maybe for the people out there. So let, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. I've been Omnis, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe to the channel Omnis for more videos like this one. Let me know what you thought about this record, The Stage by Van Sample. Um, I thought it was a pretty good record, but definitely not one of my album of the years. Although, I'll, fucking I'll, although I don't listen to a lot of music, but... To a lot of new new music but there we go uh, let me know all the things in the comments down below and i will see you in the next video god bless safe take care and peace